Hi everyone, my name is Angel. I live in New York City and I'm going through a breakup. Specifically, I'm going through a breakup in a new city. I just moved to New York less than a year ago from Los Angeles and I lived in San Diego for most of my life. So there's something specifically about having a heartbreak in a new city far away from home that hits different and I want to talk about it. So the first thing that I want to talk about is one, the city changes for you. And when I say that is when you go to a new city, right? Like there's something so exciting about it because everything is new. Nothing reminds you of anything. There are no bad memories, only possibilities. <laughs> there's no restaurants to remind you of them. No coffee shops or neighborhoods. There is no them. There's just the thought of exploring this new space and that's incredibly beautiful and so rare in such a short period that you can have before you know you live in a city long enough and you fall in love and get hurt and that happened to me and that was hard you know because I think I loved New York because of its newness for me I lived in I lived in LA for eight years and I grew up in San Diego so those places they had become just these graveyards of memories of past lovers and there were freeway exits and neighborhoods and restaurants and coffee shops and everything that reminded me of people that I'd loved throughout the years and it started to become painful but New York didn't have that now that it does there's a part of me that wants to run away again but I know that's not it because I love New York City more than I could ever love any person. Or, I guess, I love New York City more than can ever make me leave. Not yet, at least. But it's hard, because now there are neighborhoods that I don't want to go to. There are coffee shops that we've been to that I no longer want to visit. There are places in Central Park. There are subway <laughs> stops. There are these little things that I know at this point, it's it's been like a week since we broke up, is going to make me cry. And it feels like this landmine of memories to him. And it sucks. Because the city feels tainted to me. And that hurts. But as such is life, right? You can't keep running away from city to city until something bad happens to you and, you know, always start over because then your life is going to be ruled by your own pain and your own emotions and I don't want to live that way. So this is how it is. And I think what I need to focus on now is seeing joy through that pain and thinking about all the other beautiful memories that I've made here in the city because it's hard. It's hard to maintain that wonder when there is now hurt. I'm a romantic and I romanticize and I also really, really romanticize in a way that can also be painful because Man, when a memory is attached to a thing or a place, it stays there for me for a while. And it's something that I'm working on. Slowly but surely. <laughs> I think the second thing, too, is getting hurt far from home is hard. You know, you're not around your, your old friends who have known your dating history, who you can have brunch with and... You can go over all the people you ever loved and just kind of laugh and struggle, <laughs> reminisce and have them tell you the I told you so's. And I mean, yeah, like, of course there are phone calls and FaceTime, but it's different, you know, having to call my mom instead of being able to hug her and visit home or to, you know, see my dad and just have their presence and have him cook for me. I can't go to my best friend's house and crash his couch. You know, I, I can't 
do those kinds of things. And of course, I have these really incredible friends that I've made here in New York, and I am so happy for them. But they only know me for this phase in my life. And they know the stories, but they hadn't lived with me through my past lovers and aren't able to support me in the way that an older friend can do so. And in a lot of ways, then, you have to kind of analyze yourself and kind of look into your past by yourself. And it's harder, but it does make you stronger. Um, I will say it's like when you get hurt, like have a heartbreak in a new city, I'm 3,000 miles away from home, you get stronger. You learn your own coping mechanisms. Mechanisms. (laughs) And you really, really establish your own resiliency because through all this, you're only depending on you. Mainly. Of course, there are support systems, there are friends, calling family, but you are the main person. And that makes you stronger involuntarily. But it does. And that is something that I'm really, really proud of myself for. Because it hasn't been easy. Everything here is new and the heartbreak hurts differently when you can't go home and cry to your mom (laughs) and hang out with your old friends but that's okay at the end of the day I wouldn't want to get heartbroken any place else I live in New York City and of course the memories are hard but there is power in perspective and now I'm realizing that I'm at a crossroads here I have a choice I have a choice to either bask in this negative energy, and I don't even think it's necessarily negative energy, but the realities, the struggles of getting hurt in this type of way, in this type of environment, or I can turn that pain into power, to choose to see the good in something that can be painful. And I'm not saying don't that I'm not feeling my feelings and going through the process like it's been an up and down and I am absolutely choosing my choosing to feel but I am also knowing that after all this I'm going to choose to see the light to see the joy and to learn the lessons from this I'm not gonna let heartbreak ruin this city I've dreamed of living here since I was a little girl, and nothing is going to change that. This experience will make me stronger, and will make me love New York in a whole different way, and appreciate the woman that I am becoming here because of this thing that hurt me. Loving a city is a lot like loving a person, and there are always struggles that you go through in a city, but it doesn't mean that I don't love any any less. I appreciate it for the lessons it's giving me. And one day, I'll be able to move on and find a new love here. Right now, I'm learning to fall in love with myself. And I think that's just amazing. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out and listening to me talk about what it's like to go through a heartbreak in a new city. I think I might try and do this make a couple more videos about this because I kind of like just sitting down here and talking to y'all and I hope this helps if anyone's going through the same thing I'm sorry but I know there's light at the end of the tunnel and I know there is two for you I'll see you later I will see you later (laughs) bye everyone